Hello everybody and welcome here to Pixelmon. You can see the gold bats flying across the background there. And here in the front with me is Andy Ray Sim, who, as you can probably tell from the uh, the last episode, has been persuaded to play Pixelmon. Say hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Okay, that joke just never gets any younger. <laughs> and we are here, and we are actually standing on top of Andy's house. So if I jump up and down, I might just smash the tiles. I don't know. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in. And what we're going to do today is Andy and I are going to basically just build a little rooftop garden on top of uh, her house here, which is, if you can see, if you come down the front here, um, you can probably see is pretty much set into the uh, the earth here. It's uh, kind of like a little hobbit house. <laughs> yeah, so only we could do round doors. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll be doing that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Char. Ah. All right. Char. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, actually. Yeah. Let's, do, let's do a trainer battle. Let's see, let's, let's, see your, let's see your Pokemon. Let's show people your Charmilio. Pokemon and show people my new Pokemon. Okay. Okay. That says. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll let you pick your first Pokemon. So. There you go. I'm going to start off with my Squirtle. Square, square. Okay, so here we are again. Um, in the meantime, we have been both been attacked by wild Pokemon, so let's get this started before anything happens. So, how about you? Squirt. 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 <laughs> Squirt. He's just decided to run off the roof. <laughs> so pick your Pokemon and fire it at him. Squirtle. Oh, okay. Squirtle. It's a Squirtle. All right. Squirtle. Yes. All right. Let's see. Where'd he go? He's actually down here. Oop, okay. Okay, Squirtle. I'm gonna... Where are you going? Call him back. Where are you? I think actually I'm going to. Hold on. Get back on the roof. Squirtle. <laughs> I'll Squirtle. Just him. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna choose my butter, butter, Butterfree. Okay. I don't think right. it... Alright. Ready? All right. There you go. Squirt, right. squirt, squirt. squirt. <laughs> okay. Um. Hold on a sec. Let me restart this one. There you go. All right. Squirt. What will Squirtle do? Mm. Um, let's start with one of them. So as in trainer battles, we both pick our attacks, and then we see what happens. Ooh. So that didn't do much, and that did much better. So okay. Um, I don't have too many choices. <laughs> let's try one of them. I'll try that one. <laughs> I have two choices, so Squirtle doesn't have too many choices unless you get him. I think at a lower level. Yeah. All right, so, I'm gonna right. use. I'm gonna use my biggest. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, You're probably gonna get at me. There you go. Dang. Got him. Dang. Okay, so. Yeah, but you've managed to burn my gold bat, so it's taking damage every round now. Knocked out, hey. Yeah. I don't know if this Ooh, is the right one you. to use. Oh, you! You're a knocked out. <laughs> knocked out is confused. It hurt itself in its confusion. How can it punch itself in the face? It's got no fists. So we'll do one of them. It's super effective. Not just effective, mm -hmm. it's super effective. <laughs> it's effective with its underpants on the outside. <laughs> and Noctowl is paralyzed. And okay. it hurt itself in its confusion, which is fairly impressive considering it's paralyzed. So yeah, let's bang another one of those into the mix. Oh. Andy Ray Sims set out Pidgeotto. There's a slight problem with that. What? It's um, fl flying types are weak against electricity. Oh, well, I'm learning here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that was <laughs> not good. Well, as you can see, Andy, uh, it's got a fairly good team by the looks of it. Let's see. Um... <laughs> 
I think this is like a fair fight or something. Yeah, that's what I was hoping, to be honest with you. They're about the same level. Um, Spinarak it... hasn't mm -hmm. evolved, but uh, that doesn't seem Ooh. to be too much of a difference. Ooh. I took a big hit there. Okay. Yeah. Ivysaur. Ah! Ivysaur! Use tackle. <laughs> you sounded like a pirate there for a second. Ivysaur. Um, okay, let's see here. Ivysaur. All right. Pang oh, I didn't know you had one of them. Yeah. A pango. Uh, tackle bug bite. Okay, so let's try. I I I just I just love the name of this attack. So let's just try that. Execute uh. that raw. Ra 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 ra. Execute. You, it's making an uproar. Do you get so if you like destroy all of my not destroy but um if if you make all of my if you win. Essentially, uh -huh. do you um do you, do you get points for that? I don't think so. Um, we are recording. Mr. Mime. Say hello, Mr. Mime. Oh God, Mime. that that Mime. thing is Mime. right around you. The um, that animal is gonna attack you. I'm telling you, it's like right around you. Do you see it? Oh, Mr. Mime! Execute, Mr. calm down. Mime. Right, there we go. And Butterfree fainted. Free! Oh, me. I only have one Mr. more guy. Yeah. You, you idiot. Shut up. Mr. You're kicking my butt. And let's do... Let's do one of them. Mr. Mime. Let's not do that anymore because it's missed both times I've used it. <laughs> that thing around Mime. you is. Mr. Mime! Whoa! Nice! I don't know how that happened. Mime. Okay. I'm impressed. Go, Pachadiso! Go, Owl! Mime. Okay. Oh, well, that's it for me. <laughs> it was super effective. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Squirtle. Squirtle. Uh, you were spot on. <laughs> Mr. Mime. Mime. Oh, he's only level 23. Let's see if we can get him. Right, so... Let's, let's give him a lick. Yes. Yeah, that works. Mr. Mime is paralyzed. Okay, so let's dip in a wee bag. What have you got in a wee bag? One of these. Here you go. Have a lad. Um... Yes. Did you get him? Yes, Lee. You captured Mr. Mime. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do this evening is we are going to go and place down a layer of earth around here. Mm -hmm. Which, um, that's all the earth I had, so I hope you have more than I do. Yes, and I think there's some mm -hmm. in the chest in there, in my, uh... Okay, and then while you're doing that, I'm going to go and cut down this awning you have, and we'll put it up a level higher. Okay, yeah, thank you. So, just knock this down quickly. This is, this is actually the thing that is galling me about, uh, Pixelmon. I, I, I'm enjoying the game. I mean, it has some problems and it has some annoyances. But the fact I don't play it nearly enough means I've still got stone equipment and it's very frustrating. Yeah. Well, now you have something better, huh? Yeah, well, um, I still need to get a decent axe. So, if you think my axe on Iris um, will cut down uh, a log in two hits, this thing's a bit patient. Uh, a bit painful, rather. That's true. And I'm running out of patience. Uh, but that's the joy of starting a new game. Oh god. <laughs> uh, and like all modded games, this one's a touch laggy. You'll probably tell. Yeah. Okay. So we'll take this, and I think we've got all of that now. We're going to do two um, levels, right? Of the of the um, dirt. Uh, I thought we were just going to do one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um... The water, if we put water in, um, will water be okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. 
I want to have a little farm up here. Oh, actually, actually, the only problem with water really is the fact that it will show us little drips yeah. underneath. Yeah. So maybe if we do two. Hmm. <clears throat> Actually, think of that. I was really, really happy and interested to see that driverless cars are going to be uh, tested in the UK next year. Huh. Unfortunately, I won't be living in the UK next year, <laughs> which is a slight damper in my plans, because that was actually the point where I promised I would buy myself a car, was the day <laughs> when I didn't actually have to drive it. <laughs> so... I wonder if you need a license to own one of those. I don't know. Hmm. It does kind of seem a bit, bit pointless, isn't it? It's like having a coach dri license to drive a coach, uh, to be a passenger in a coach. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we need a driver's license. I'll tell you what, let's have someone running in front of them with a flag as well. <laughs> yeah, it's just to be extra safe. Hmm. Right, um, okay, so this is this is done now. So you're just grabbing some earth? Um, do we need any more um, stairs? I'm wondering. No, I don't think we do. Not at this point, I think. Okay, I'll grab some earth. I have a lot of earth, actually. Okay. And so. if you wanted to do that uh, skylight, we should grab some grass at this point as well, shouldn't we? Grass? Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, man, let's have some grass. <laughs> glass, let's have some grass. Uh, I wonder if I should put some sugar canes. Maybe. If I sh if I should grow some sugar canes on top. Of the... no, I think actually around the edge that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, I got some sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Um, there's some more dirt in there if you want it. Um, and we probably need some half slabs if we want to put water down, huh? So yeah, create some half slabs. Um, and the other you know, really annoying thing is I keep on here every time somebody says half slab. Mm hmm. I hear hero in the half slab. Turtle <laughs> power. <laughs> They're and not... yes, before somebody complains in the comments, I know it's not hero in the half slab. And unless, unless of course, you know, you're a bit late. In which case, congratulations on finding something to complain about that I actually did. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, a bit late. If you're watching this, get in touch. I want to play Don't Starve with you. I haven't played Don't Starve with you in ages. Alright, so we'll just put some more of this dirt out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cover this evenly with dirt. And then we can decide where you want to put your grass, glass, yeah, creepy man. <laughs> um Okay, and Yeah. Actually, I think while I'm at it, let's go and grab a hoe. <laughs> I have a couple of hoes. <laughs> mm. This doesn't well, sound right. This looks like a street corner. This is a good place to go and find <laughs> one. Uh, oh my gosh. Alright, I do have actually a couple. Um, where are you? And I'll, I'll come and get another one. Oh, that was in a good condition. Let's just make one, shall we? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... All right, I've got thirty-six slabs. That should be plenty. Well, that should be thirty-six, if nothing else. Yes. Yeah. All right. And we're we're gonna do. Uh, hmm. Well, Can I just say to everyone? Okay, that's not a boast. I actually do have ultra balls, and indeed four of them. <laughs> they're very. They're much more effective than regular balls. Yes. I do, I do a little bit worried that they're black and yellow, but... Uh... <laughs> okay. Actually, why am I doing this? We're going to need to irrigate this before we do anything else. Yeah. Um, so, let me just... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't have a bucket. I have, have a, a bucket. bucket. I have a bucket. I'll go get water. Okay. And um, do you need anything from me? Well, actually, could I have that bucket? Yeah. Um, Thank you. Hang on here. I will, of course, return it. Thank you. 
You got Look melons. Where'd you get your melons? I want some melons. <laughs> um, it's okay. I can't remember, actually. <laughs> I don't think I should be eating them, though. I should actually be growing them. All I right. know. I want to be growing some. All right. Okay, so right. Now, if you want to grow sugar cane, mm -hmm. then that's going to have to be... On the edge? Yeah. On the edge, yeah. It's got to live on the edge, man. Yeah. It's got to live. Uh, well, actually, no. What it's got to be is it's got to be next to water. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so hmm. um, if you want to do it on the edge, then we're actually going to have to put water next to it. Okay. Um, so. Oh, so where would you like your your sugar cane? Wherever it's the most efficient to have them. Um, but um, it would be nice to have a little maybe nice area in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe um. I guess maybe like on the edge would be nice, like here, and the, like, and then we can have the water be like right next to it. Yeah. Okay, so if we put that, put it there. Say you can put um. Uh huh. Make a that around it. No, oh, great. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to get some more water. Okay. It's 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 a bit. Funny feeling in playing Pokemon, but not bothering to light up because you're not going to get attacked by monsters. Yeah. How come a, my sugar cane isn't? Do you have to get seeds? Sugar cane no, seeds. You plant sugar cane. You just got to plant it. No, you don't. Uh, you don't need to do that. Just plant it straight on the dirt. Oh, got it. Thank you. Like that. There we go. Okay. And all around the water. Uh huh. It's pretty actually. Okay, can, um, and how about we do one over here as well? Nice to do them in the four corners, I think, to match. Yep. Whee! Okay. And I'll go this way because it's actually sensible to go to the nearer ah! one, really, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, something attacked me. There's about to attack me. Uh, oh, okay. it's like a um, an ant or something. That's cool. I apologize for screaming. So scared the heck. Right. It's not like you can hear anything anymore anyway, so. Mr. Mime. There's a Mr. Mime up here if you want it. Let's see. Ariados. Isn't that an ABBA song? It, I, I think. I don't know. It looks like a fire ant or something. Uh, no, it sounds like an ABBA song. I'm sure oh. there's an ABBA song called Ariados. <laughs> Ariados. Here I go again. <laughs> yes. Ariados. Mamma mia. <laughs> Figaro. No, we will not let you go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, I'm, I can get this guy. Beelzebub has a gun put aside for me. For <laughs> me. For me. I killed it. Oh, dang. Or I made it go. Oh, well, never mind. All right, let's see. Now, what else should I do to this roof? Um, Other than setting it on fire. Ah, you read my mind. <laughs> Maybe put a, hmm, put some vines or some grass on it? Um, grass, we're gonna need a silk touch. Uh, actually, let's work, let's work some grass up there actually. But uh, first of all, we want to know where you want to put your crops. Do you want to? Okay. Um. Right. Do you want to have some crops? Like some more, um, some more, um. Wheat, potatoes, carrots. Oh. Uh, we could do some Skips. melons and pumpkins up here as well, if you like. Pumpkins or melons would be great. Pumpkins actually would be awesome too. But um, melons and pumpkins, either way. Uh, let's see. What do I want? Now well, this will be the pumpkin farm. So maybe melons up there. Well, tell you what, why don't we just do some slices down the sides here, and then we can have the middle bit as decorative. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'm thinking that uh, this lot will be, you know, we'll do across here like this. Mm -hmm. And you sort of this point and back will be crops, and the same over here. Mm hmm. That's a good plan. And so if you want melons, then we're going to have to put them on the edge. In fact, 
Hmm. Tell you what would be nice. I don't have any melon seeds, so... Well, you do now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think it would be nice if we put them, say, on the corner here. So, one, uh, two, three, and four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so we'll put one there. One there. One there. Mm-hmm one there okay so then they'll grow into here so they'll grow onto these blocks here mm -hmm. and hmm. yeah if we just just hoe the rest of this quickly okay then we can go get some wheat some carrots i've got some potatoes downstairs if you want hmm. we can get those planted up here okay and then you've got a regular supply of noms awesome because that food is probably I've been speaking to cats too much. The, th the thing we that's hard to come by here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, do you want some potatoes? Uh, that would be great. Okay. Uh, which case? Oh, panko. You're lucky I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> if we put some dirt like this. Actually, that's the wrong place. Oops. Put it there. Okay, and then the grass will grow up here. Onto here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, going to get some potatoes. We'll get some taters. At the end. Taters. taters. Okay, I'm gonna empty some of my inventory so I can start picking things up and okay. helping out. Okay, so there is water coming through the roof here. Well, that's... That'll be okay. Actually not surprising, but uh, if we know the locations where it's coming through, we can perhaps just reinforce them. Yeah, that's not a bit good. Okay, so I'm putting carrots at the... Uh, carrots on one side, and let's put potatoes on the other side. Okay. Like this. I wonder if I should put a couple of melons up there. I think, or actually, um, maybe I should put a one um oh you mean um pumpkins pumpkin yeah? yeah i do have yeah why don't you put the pumpkins here okay so they don't balance the melons out they need like they they need a lot of space around them to grow no they need one space next to them to grow oh really because i thought they yeah. had... okay so if you put them here then they'll grow out onto this square here Okay. Okay. Cool. All, right. All right. Thank you. And then what I'll do is I'll put. So we'll balance that out. So we'll have potatoes here and carrots here. Let's see here. Pumpkin seeds. Like that. All right. And then I think what we need to then is just put some wheat in the middle, really, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, this, uh, is the water going to just work for all of that? Yep. Awesome. Squirt, squirt. I've yeah. just been attacked by a cadabra. Uh oh. Squirt. Well, let's see. Um, Where you are. Right. Squirt. What level is it? It's 18. And it's just teleported away. So that was the shortest fight I've ever been in. <laughs> Yay! They have a tendency to do that. They do. Uh, I, okay, the uh, last Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Blue. Which is actually probably older than many of the people that are watching this video, in all honesty. <laughs> but uh, they, uh, Abras and that were really, really, really frustrating in that game. Because you you had to have a really fast Pokemon to, to knock them out. Otherwise, you'd never catch the things. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the reasons why Butterfree was so such a good early game Pokemon. Because it was really, really fast. And it had sleep powder. It was basically designed to catch Abras, I'm fairly certain of it. Yeah, so look, you can see the grass is starting to grow up here now, that's great. So we'll put some seeds here. Okay. You're doing so all never... the... let's see. You're doing all the work there. Yeah. Well, it'll be reflected in my build, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we'll put that here. Okay. Are you gone done run out of seeds? Let's go get some more. What kind of seeds? Wheat? Wheat, yes. I have, oh, let's see. Um, I have 
Seven. I'll do. Okay. I'll finish it off. I've got a garden. Rooftop garden. Yes. That's a very ecological thing to have. So if we let grass grow down the middle here, then if you wanted, we could perhaps put some wildflowers or something in here. In here. That would be it's nice. It's a shame there's not enough space to put a seat in, but there isn't enough space to put a seat in now. Yeah. But, uh, other than that, I think it's, it's going to look quite good. It's very it nice. Grows. Very nice. Thank you for your help. Ooh, and... My pleasure. Yeah. And in fact, I'll tell you what, let's uh, let's go stand here for a second. Okay. And... I just need to put that. down the, um, the remaining... Hang on here. Melon. Or, well, it's not melon, pumpkin. but pumpkin. All right, so if you could... There you go. Yep, once you've done that, if you could move to one side, if you would. Whee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away now and I will come back... And this is all grown, and you can see what it looks like. And here it is after. Uh, we give it a little bit of time for the grass to grow. Change the planting slightly so you can see there's more carrots and potatoes, less wheat. But all in all, it seems to be uh, working quite well. Except for one big problem. Pokemon like landing on this roof, where they succeed to jump up and down and... Quite frankly, I thought putting on a roof would make this, this farm a little bit Pokemon proof. It's worked for everything except for the flying types. Who'd like to sweep down and land on it with a large thump and a shower of carrots. So, what we're going to do instead in the next episode is we're going to build a farm over there. And it's going to be like a farm you've never seen before. So, until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. I have been with Andy Ray. Thank you very much for coming along once again. And good night.